This week, our new CNO was confirmed. The expanded maternity leave NAV admin is out a bit on the new command senior chief program and anchors away. Congratulations to everyone who made chief. For those that didn't, a message from Fleet Master Chief Beldo and Force Master Chief Mitchell. First, Admiral John Richardson has been confirmed by the Senate to succeed Admiral Greenert as our next Chief of Naval Operations. Their change of office ceremony will be mid-September at the Naval Academy, and beginning this week, Admiral Richardson will start meeting with his transition team to begin planning for his time as CNO. What do you think the team should focus on? What issues are on track and which ones should be addressed now and into the future? Tell us in the comments section below. Next, congratulations to everyone who made Chief this cycle, and good luck as we head into Phase 2 of CPO 365. For those that didn't make it, like me, we talked to Fleet Master Chief April Beldo and Force Master Chief CJ Mitchell, who as veterans of multiple selection boards, wanted to offer some advice to make next year your year. Don't get discouraged. I do believe that there is a process that all of us go through when we were not selected. I wasn't selected the first time up for every rank. So there's this grieving process. But once we get through that and we can't take it too long, we need to get back into the game, hit the deck running, and start preparing for the next um, season because it will be here before you know it. I'd like to add just a couple things. One, it's okay to be upset. It's okay to feel a little bit rejected. But again, accept that challenge professionally and not personally. The second thing I want to say is when it comes up for going up for chief to quote Bill Parcells, you are who your record says you are. Make sure you have a good record. It's a fact. However you represent yourself and your record is the sailor that you are. And the last thing, and I can't go much farther without mentioning this, is you should be studying for that chief's test right now. We can't talk about the board or preparing a package unless you pass the chief's test and are selection board eligible. So as you're working on your package, keep working and studying for that test too. The full interview is on Navy Live. Both Fleet and Force share their experience about what the board is looking for and what you can do now. Check it out. In other chief news, the Navy formally established the Command Senior Chief as a rating. This transitions Command Senior Chiefs officially from being a leader within their rating to being a command leader. Currently, sailors have the option to apply for the conversion, but going forward, it will be automatic for those sailors selected as Command Senior Chiefs. Finally, the NAV admin with additional guidance on the expansion of maternity leave from six weeks to 18 weeks is released. Check out the Navy specific details on mpc.navy.mil. Finally, we're gonna answer some of the questions we're getting on the Navy's fitness program changes next episode, so keep them coming. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm Emerson Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.